Turning to our second, uh, second agenda item, at the advisory committee meeting in September, the committee discussed two possible new special committees. The committee agreed to establish a special committee on, uh, on the uh, future of VOA in the 21st century. Uh, a proposed resolution to establish the special committee was provided to the board for its consideration. Um, we actually did receive a number of comments for the board and, uh, and we've kind of circulated, I believe, a, a new amended um, resolution, which was just circulated last night, which I know does not follow our, our practice of, uh, of giving enough time. So if, um, first I'd like to ask, is there any board member doesn't feel like they've had sufficient time enough to, to review the new amended resolution? Okay, hearing none, is there any, I'm going to say a couple things about the resolution, but before I do, are there any comments or changes to the, the amended resolution that was circulated? Michael? Um, well, it, um, I, I appreciate the, the, the first version and the second version of, of, the, of the, the, the desire to create this committee to look at the VOA of the 21st century, but, but as we said yesterday, and I just wanted to say it here at the open meeting as well, in my Five point four and a half years on this board, I've struggled with mightily, and, and we've all talked about this uh, uh, both privately and openly. We're, we do business in a hundred countries. We have fifty-seven of them have uh, VOA and surrogate operations there, and and a seventy-year uh, legacy agency like VOA ha has grown in different ways long before all of us got onto this board. And I, I do think it's important to get the the new management with Andy Lack and 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 you, my colleagues here on the board who came about a year, year and a half ago, to, to get to the bottom of where we are. I mean, VOA acts as a surrogate in Africa, as far as I'm concerned, and, and we don't, the, the traditional surrogates don't really have a role there, and that's the role that they've evolved to, and that's sort of the nature of the beast. It just, you know, as we sat here a year ago, we talked about 12 other hotspots, and then today you just went through 12 different hotspots. And so we're trying to, trying to bring a, a, a legacy agency like this one through a digital media age, through a very you know, complex uh, world uh, foreign policy environment. So I would hope that regardless of what the language is here, that the committee would take a good hard look and get to the brass tacks of at least moving forward. I know it's very hard to change, and I think um, Under Secretary Stengel points this out with his fresh time here in the government, that it's really easy to put new programs on the board. It's very hard to take old programs off the board while you're putting new ones on. So I hope this committee, with however this resolution goes, has that as part of its part of its construction? I, I totally agree, and there actually is a is a uh, clause in the resolution, as you know, which talks about you know doing looking at BOA in the context of all of our other uh, services and and in areas where we have more than one service, trying to figure out what the right approach should be to that region. Um, the I, I will, I'll echo a little bit, Governor uh, me and what you said in that in that what what since my time on the board which has been just over a year, a lot of time has been spent on structure, how we manage our meetings, how we manage, govern our entity. I think we've, we've, we've done a good job as a board of, of making a more professionally managed organization. We've talked a lot about structure and where our entities are and how they're structured. What we haven't spent a lot of time talking about as a board or in these meetings is content, right, which ultimately is all that matters to somebody who turns on a, a, a radio or an audio device or a television or, or looks at their smartphone. And what I love about um, Andy Lack coming in and some of the focus of the panel today is that some of what we should be doing is putting aside structural issues and actually looking at how do we actually influence people in these hotspots around the world with content and figuring out the best content strategy. And then we can try to figure out what entities and how to make it work and what's the best transmission strategy. I actually think what we're doing today to cover the Hong, Hong Kong protest is a perfect example of how, how it should work where we figured out the best content strategy. It's brilliant, BOA and RFA working together to provide the best, the best mix of content. And, uh, and if we can kind of take that model across the world, we'll be A, more efficient in how we, we operate, to your point, but B, I think we'll be more effective in the content we provide. So I, I echo that. And I think one of the challenges here is to also figure out, you know, BOA's charter is sacrosanct in this building and around the world and, and to all of us but it's a different world now than when VOA was established. And so what I'm excited about this committee doing is working with David Ensor and his team and, and with people around the world to, to refine 
what VOA is, which will further help us figure out this content strategy across the world. So um, uh, on the phone, are there any, any comments or questions on this resolution, Ryan, Matt? Nothing to add, in, not, nothing uh, particularly to add. You know, the uh, present reality we have in, in a growing part of the world, a, a war on information. Um, so, how does the VOA, as you got into, fit into the U.S. Uh, uh, international media uh, in this changing landscape of, of media, changing definition of media, changing consumers' relationship with the media, and how do we strengthen the brand of, uh, of, of VOA? So, um, yeah, it's, 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 uh, I echo your comments. Great. Uh, Ryan, anything to add? Okay. Hear, hearing uh, no more comments, just um, as at the, uh, under the bylaws, as chairman, I'm authorized to uh, appoint a special committee of the board. So uh, we're going to vote on the resolution in a second, assuming the resolution passes. This board, this, this committee, uh, for the for the future of VOA in the 21st century will be chaired by by Matt Armstrong. Thank you, Matt. Um, I will be on the committee. Um, as of now, no other governors have uh, have volunteered to be on the committee, but I'm certain that others will. So in coming days, we will fill out this committee um, under Matt's leadership. So um, I move that we adopt the amended resolution to establish a special committee on the future of VOA in the 21st century. Is there a second? second? Second by Governor Weinstein. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Or abstain? All right, the motion carries. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. If the U.S. Senate decides that I'm still here, I'd like to participate in that committee as well. Great. Let us note that we now have a third <laughs> member of that committee, Governor Meehan. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this is Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Right. my as an abstention uh, because I never received the revised text. Okay, so please note that, that Ryan abstains from it, and we'll make sure we get you the, the proposed text. Sorry about that, Ryan. Um, Governor Weinstein has also volunteered, so we now have a four-person committee. Thank you guys for that.